Hi friends, as always I'm very excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Umar Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Canadian psychologist Albert Bandura introduced the social learning theory in the 1960s. He developed it into the social cognitive theory in 1986. It basically means that all behavior is learned through social imitation rather than genetics. Let's see social cognitive theory of mass communication explained in this video. of the social cognitive theory is that behavior is learned through observation, modeling and imitation and is a reciprocal dynamic interplay between the person, behavior and the environment. There are two basic modes of learning. People learn by experiencing the effects of their actions and through the power of social modeling. Social learning theory was developed by Albert Bandura in the 1960s. He suggested humans learn from others performing certain behaviors and imitating them. Bandura called this observational learning. In other words, it is not necessary to have a direct experience of something in order to learn. Bandura performed the famous Bobo doll experiments in the 1960s. In this experiment, a group of children were individually exposed to an adult model who was physically and verbally violent towards a Bobo doll. When these children were left to play with the Bobo doll independently, many of them imitated the behavior that they had observed in the adult model. The experiment was repeated at a later date. This time, the adult model was either rewarded or reprimanded for the abusive behavior. The experiments showed that behavior that is rewarded tends to be repeated, while behavior that is reprimanded is less likely to reoccur. The first element of observational learning is attention. It determines what is selectively observed among numerous modeling influences. Cognitive skills, preconceptions and value preferences of the observers influences attention. Other factors are attractiveness and functional value of the modeled activities. Retention involves an active process of transforming and restructuring information conveyed by the modeled events into memory codes. Prior experience helps individuals to remember particular memory codes. Hence, moderately familiar behaviors will be easier to learn. The third element of social cognitive theory is performance. The ability to perform a behavior is particularly salient for young people as they develop the required motor skills. The performance of the behavior can be adaptive and result in variations of the original model behavior. A person's decision of whether or not to perform a learned behavior is dependent upon his or her motivation to do so. This motivation can be direct, vicarious or even self-produced. People are more motivated to perform a modeled behavior if it results in valued outcomes rather than punishment Self-efficacy refers to the beliefs in one's capabilities to organize and execute the course of action required to produce given attainments. 
it can influence whether someone attempts to perform an observed behavior if one perceives themselves as able they may try a modeled behavior modeling is not merely a process of behavioral mimicry the proven skills and established customs of a culture may be adopted in essentially the same form when they are valued as functionally effective otherwise sub skills must be improvised social cognitive theory states that there are three characteristics that are unique to humans firstly vicarious consequences that means humans can model and imitate others secondly self efficacy humans self reflect performance standards and moral conduct humans have the ability to regulate one's behavior learning occurs in a social context with a dynamic and reciprocal interaction of the person environment and behavior The unique feature of social cognitive theory is the emphasis on social influence and on external and internal social reinforcement. A vast amount of information about human values, styles of thinking, and behavior patterns is gained from the extensive modeling in the symbolic environment of the mass media. A major significance of symbolic modeling lies in its tremendous reach and psychosocial impact people's images of social reality and the structure and ideological orientations of societies are heavily influenced by the symbolic modeling in the mass media This symbolic modeling also serves as the principal conveyor of innovations to widely dispersed geographical areas. With the revolutionary advances in ICTs, lifestyles are now being modeled and rapidly diffused worldwide. In this vicarious learning, a single model can transmit new ways of thinking and behaving. simultaneously to vast populations in dispersed locales the salient symbolic modeling through the electronic media pervades our everyday lives the model can be particular kinds of formal or informal behavior or a manner of using language in this symbolic modeling values lifestyles and guides for daily living are personalized through exemplary ideals Symbolic models serve as transmitters of knowledge, competencies, values, cognitive skills and new styles of behavior. In addition to cultivating new competencies, modeling influences can alter motivation, emotional dispositions and value systems. One of the criticism of the theory is that the theory suggests that a person's actions and behavior are determined by society and fails to take into consideration individual accountability. It disregards environmental influences and factors such as socioeconomic status. It also fails to take into account the influence of genetics or hereditary influences. Thanks for staying along friends as always it was a delight having you here I'll be back with another video very soon till then have a great time